Hey friends! I'm back with another plan with me and this is for the first full week of October 2022. We're looking at October 3rd through October 9th. This week being the first official full spooky time week, I'm gonna start doing Halloween-ish type theming in my book. I did a Disney World theme all last month for my son's birthday. And so this month I wanted to focus on Halloween or spooky or costumey type situations. And this one, even by my own estimation, just barely <laughs> makes the cut. Um, I'm not aiming for a Disney theme specifically in October, although there are a couple of Disney themed kits this month. This kit is from Pink Planner Shop. It is the last Pink Planner Shop kit that I'll be using for the foreseeable future. But what this shop lacks in ease of use as far as Silhouette Studios, it really makes up for in the beautiful Disney themed art that I find at this shop. So this kit is called Pirate's Life. And as you can imagine, it is Pirates of the Caribbean themed. So I wanted to use this for this month because pirates are in this year. If you know the movie, please uh, comment and let me know because we're automatically best friends. And also just because it's a beautiful kit, I didn't get to use it last month. Um, pirates, if you know about the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which is a ticketed event that, that I believe, maybe they have a version of it at Disneyland. No, Disneyland is Oogie Boogie Bash. Disney World does Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And one of the features of this particular party is that they do a new overlay on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride where they have live actors in the ride and you can only see them during these special Halloween events. So that's my convoluted way of trying to make this kit appropriate <laughs> for my Halloween theming. So go with me here. I did not get to do the crop method this time because I've mentioned a thousand times in the past, I simply cannot wrap my mind around using the crop method with Pink Planner Shop's kits. Maybe it's because they're European kits and Silhouette Studios works differently there. I honestly don't know. Tutorials exist, I don't have the patience to deal with them. So I did print extra stickers this time. If you wanna see how I typically do the crop method, I have a video linked in the description box that shows you how I do it. So. For this week, I'm using these full boxes up here. We've got date covers, we have our bottom washi, we have an extra full box here. This second page is a bunch of like little things and whatnot. I am going to be using literally nothing from this page except for the glitter headers, that's it. The whole page worth of stickers, ink, paper, the time used to cut, a waste because all I need from here is the glitter headers. This last page of the kit, or at least it's the last page I printed, has got, what am I gonna use here actually? The weekend banner, we've got some deco, and this kit literally brings a habit tracker. I usually use four in my sidebar. I also don't seem to have any, nope, I don't seem to have a longer full box for my sidebar either. So actually, this week is gonna be a challenge because I tend to have a pretty set maybe even cookie cutter approach to how I lay my stickers down every week, I am missing tons of stuff from the kit that I would usually have on hand. So I'm gonna have to get creative to try to fill in all the space that I typically fill in because I honestly just don't have the stickers that I'm used to. So lastly, we've got this sheet right here, which I'm almost done with. This is not part of the kit. It's not even from Pink Planner Shop. This is actually from Beautiful Planning and it's a functional sticker sheet that just has YouTube stickers on it. I like to use these at the end of every planner video to let you all know what I'm planning to bring to the channel every day or on any given day as it were. And that way if there's something in particular that sounds interesting to you, that sounds fun to you, I do recipes on my channel, vlogs, um, homeschooling videos with a Disney twist in particular, from uh, an approach of I'm teaching a child that has nonverbal autism. There's all sorts of stuff on the channel. So on any given week, you're bound to find all sorts of different um, categories, if you will, of entertainment. And so I like to let you all know what I'm up to so that if something sounds good, you know when to return. You could always just subscribe and click the notification bell and then you'll be alerted whenever any new video comes up, but your choice entirely. So now that I've 
set the groundwork, let's go ahead and put down our washi, which again, the sidebar, the sidebar is giving me issues this week because usually there's another piece here that I'm used to having that covers up this bit. We don't have that this week either. So we're very much, oof, hold on. Let me stop myself right there before I keep going because I had already put that down improperly. Yeah, the sidebar, I'm gonna have to really get creative and sort that out. Do I not have numbers either? No, I guess I don't. That's fine, I know for a fact I printed out extra numbers likely in next week's kit because I knew that this kit I wasn't gonna have any. So that's not a big deal. I'll just come back in probably next week to be honest and put the numbers down. So now that that's handled, <laughs> if we could call it that, let me go ahead and put down my little weekend banner which is very dainty, very cute. Right there, na, 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 na. perfect. Ah, all right, so let's see what we're gonna do about this sidebar now. I'm trying to see, well, I do have an extra, an extra full box, so I could definitely use that to my advantage. I think I might try to build from the top up this time. I usually build from the bottom up but this way I have an idea of just how much space I've got left. And I usually try to cover this October 2022 situation, but uh, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> so let's just leave that open for now. So I've got all this space left to fill and I've only got the one habit tracker as I mentioned. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. Funny enough, this week I actually printed out a meal planner like a standalone sheet meal planner so that I could keep track of what I still have in my pantry and freezer and make sure to use it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these uh, Monday through Sunday situations here and I'll use that as like a dinner tracker maybe to remind me what I'm supposed to be cooking every night or defrosting, etc. Man, I really, <laughs> I'm like at a loss now for what else to do. I can use another one of these so I think I will do that because I only have the seven days left, right? So might as well. So let me let me put this down here. And now I can wait, I put it crooked. Let's try that one more time. All right, so now we've got just slightly more than a half box, I think. So Hmm, if I had one more habit tracker, man, then that would be fantasticals, but I do not. So what I'm gonna do instead, I don't have any birthdays this week either. So I'm gonna put down this right here and then this, because what I do have this week is a couple of, see, and I should have, ah, I should have just continued all the way down because now these are off. Like the ones I did from the bottom up are not lining up with the ones I did from the top down. And that's gonna drive me nuts. And I shouldn't go through all this, but I think I'm gonna. So. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave it be because I'm peeling the ink off the sticker. Anyways, like I was saying, I have two doctor's appointments this week, so I'll just write them down here instead of putting them into the actual spread and then that kind of kind of takes care of that. So the next thing I want to do, since I'm gonna choosing to ignore this right now, is I'm gonna go ahead and put down my date covers. And after that, I'm gonna put down the glitter headers. And I'm trying to think, I definitely wanna use the green and gold because they're like heavily featured here. And I'm wondering if I wanna use the lighter brown or the darker brown because I typically tend to like veer towards the darker colors but I'm actually really feeling this lighter one what color are the day covers oh the day covers are green so that doesn't really help um all I know for sure now is that these green ones are going to end up all the way at the bottom so that they're far away from the day covers yeah I think I'm going to go with the light brown ones because those are the ones that are really like screaming out to me for some reason so Let's put that page away because I'm not going to be using it anymore for now. And this one aside because I'm not going to use it until later. And let me go ahead and put these situations down and I'll be right back, I guess.
All right, I really like how this looks. It's actually giving me more Jungle Cruise vibes than Pirates of the Caribbean vibes based on like the color palette and whatnot. But that's all about to be fixed right now once we get into the little details here of the full boxes. So I don't really have any rhyme or reason for the placement of these, except that I do want to separate this like double scene situation with the coil. So that's typically my compromise whenever I'm confronted with one of these situations where two pictures are required in order for the image to make sense. I don't like putting them too close together typically, but they don't make sense if you put them too far apart. So that's what I typically like to do. Um, we've got some sort of drinky type deal here. I'll put that, eh, we'll put it right here, why not? We got these cute Mickey ears with the little bow skeleton situation happening and I think that that's adorable, so I'm gonna put that one right here. Oh boy, not there. Let's pick that up and try to line it up, please. That's a little better. And we'll put the other coffee drink type situation over here. These people obviously went to Starbucks together. We've got some little outfit details. Actually, let me put this one down here because it's been a minute since I put one down here. This little skeleton with a bow on its head is adorable and it's all over the place. I hadn't noticed until now. And then lastly, we've got the little Polaroid and camera and everything situation here, which is adorbs. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. So as I mentioned earlier, there is not any birthdays this week. I'm going to go ahead and put my doctor's appointment over here so I don't need any extra stickers for those either. And that means that all we've got left to do now is our YouTube stickers. I'm trying really hard to remember what videos are going up this week so that I can tell you all about them. Okay, so I had to double check to make sure, but now I can tell you with confidence that obviously <laughs> today goes without saying you're getting a planner video, which is the one you're watching right now. Tomorrow you're getting a vlog, which is a vlog that I recorded over the weekend. So that's happening Tuesday. Both of these videos are coming out at 10 a.m. Eastern. No new video on Wednesday. On Thursday, you're getting another vlog. And this is a vlog that I'll have recorded or that I will be recording throughout this first half of the week, 10 a.m. Eastern as well. And then on Friday, there's a collab. Tiffany at Small Town 6 have been challenging us every month for the last couple years, I think, at this point. Um, it's actually called the Food Challenge Collab. And every month there's a different theme. And so this month she's challenging us to cook with either apples or pumpkins. So ever the opportunist, I guess, I'm always looking for ways to like condense things and be efficient. Every month, I also try to bring you guys a Disney themed recipe that I adapt to make it gluten and dairy free because I have certain allergies and I miss Disney treats too. So I try my best to make them available to me in my home since I can't typically have them at the parks. So for my apple slash pumpkin challenge, I'm going to be making Disneyland's pumpkin fudge. I haven't made it yet, so I can't tell you yet how great it came out or not. But based on the ingredients, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be epic. So, if that sounds good to you, I honestly do not remember what time that's meant to go up because Tiffany hosts a bunch of different collabs and they're always at different times of the day for some reason. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'll let you know the day before what time you can expect that video up on Friday. But it will be up on Friday for sure. And I will explain to you not only the allergy friendly way of making that recipe, but also the authentic true to the park recipe as well. So that if you do not have allergies, you can make your Disneyland pumpkin fudge at home exactly how you'd find it at the park. So if any of that sounds good to you, now you know when to return. If all of it sounds good to you, then I hope that you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. That's it for the first full week of October. I really, really love the kit. I love how it turned out. I think it looks lovely. And somehow I managed to make it work, even lacking in all those stickers that I'm used to having. So 
I'd love to know what you guys are up to this week, if there's anything special happening for you guys, if there's anything in particular you're looking forward to in the month of October, I would love to hear about that as well. I hope this video finds you well. I hope that everyone is staying happy, healthy, and safe as always. And of course, again, as always, I wanna thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell as I've mentioned a thousand times in this video because I do post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.